it was a 9.5. What was wrong with that? And why did we do that, Lewis? It was your fault. Because I like watching you squirm. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like my legs had been sliced open and acid had been poured inside. Guess what we're going to see in the cinema? Guess. Three guesses. Why am I acting like I'm a film reviewer? Let's go. Good morning and happy Saturday. How are we all doing? This is actually the first weekend that I have a whole weekend with my boyfriend Lewis. So hello Lewis. Hello. Our schedules have just not aligned. It has just been a little bit chaotic. So we've got a very, very wholesome weekend planned. Here he is. Good morning. Good morning. We are currently on our way to the gym. We're gonna sit and have a coffee together before our workout class. We are a little bit tight for time. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Late night. Mm, we, had a, we actually went out last night for a games night and it was so much fun. Um, we were playing on the Wii Fit, we were playing Articulate, what else did we play? The Wii Fit was brilliant. The Wii Fit was so good. Oh, we did just dance, it was amazing. Anyway, so we're on the way to um, grab a coffee, do a really good workout class, so it's called Superstar Saturdays. And whoa, bumpy ride. And um, whoa, it's a big circuit of 20 exercises and you have to see how many rounds you can do in the 40 minute timer. And it's something that I try to do every Saturday because I just absolutely love it. Then um, we're gonna pop to Waitrose, get some yummy ingredients and make a yummy brunch. And that is our morning plans. So you're coming with us and we hope you enjoy this video. Let's go. What was that? So we're gonna pop to Waitrose, darling, aren't we? I'm not a Waitrose gal, I'll be honest. I'm a Sainsbury's gal and he's taking the piss out of me. We only go to Waitrose <laughs> on a Saturday to get a nice loaf of bread because arguably <laughs> the bread is the best. It sounded like you're a Waitrose gal. I'm not a Waitrose like, gal, we need to clarify. To no, I'm a Sainsbury's gal through <laughs> and through, all right? I would die for Sainsbury's. The, I, you're a little shit. <laughs> You're a little shit. The only reason why I like Waitrose is because it's on our way back from the gym and they do a banging olive loaf. So yeah, we're popping to Waitrose. We're gonna pay. I, I love how much you've tried to justify this. I, I'm not justifying anything. I'm just a Sainsbury's girl. And I didn't mean it to come out like I'm a Waitrose girl because I'm not trying to be something that I'm not, all right? Well, no, what we can get from Waitrose that we can't get from anywhere else is Little Moons. Uh, I think we can get Little Moons in Sainsbury's now. Oh, can you? Yeah, but one thing that you can get from Waitrose is they've got a really good like bougie vegan section and like gluten free section. Their array of chocolate is sometimes better. I would say their bread, their fresh baked bread is better. Okay. Um, and sometimes their vegan cheese selection is better. But other than that, <laughs> I prefer Sainsbury's, all right? Anyway, just had to clarify that because he was taking the piss out of me. <laughs> sensational workout and I thought I'd give you a little bit of a haul of Waitrose. Um, we bought a lot from the reduced section which is stunning on a Saturday morning. So let's show you. We bought an olive loaf, freshly baked olive loaf. We've got a brown San Francisco bloomer and we've got some avocados to go with that. We've got some mixed, it's very dark, that's better. I'm going to go this way. We've got some mixed baby tomatoes that we're going to roast with some garlic. I bought a hummus that was in the rose juice section that has pesto in the middle. It's absolutely delicious. I've got some brown rice and edamame bean stir fry, which is really good just to have in the fridge if you want a quick lunch or dinner. Same with wheat breeze, lentils and green vegetables. It comes in a really nice dressing and it takes like two minutes to heat up. We got some fresh basil to put on the garlic tomatoes on our avocado toast. And then we got some Greek white vegan feta cheese. And I would say that vegan cheese is probably not the best, but the Via Life feta is nice. And they also do a Parmesan block that's really, really good. Would not recommend the cheddars. And then we got some three lentils that were on offer. And I think that's quite a, quite a good haul. So we're gonna make a really nice 
brunch and then shower and get ready for the rest of our day. Let's go. Here we have the finished brunch. So somewhere underneath here is the olive bread with some avocado smashed with lemon juice and chili flakes. We've got tempeh cooked in paprika and balsamic vinegar and agave nectar. Roasted tomatoes with garlic and olive oil, the vegan feta cheese, and then some basil just on top. How yummy does that look? We are back in the car and I am a passenger princess for the second time today, third time today. Fourth time today always passenger princess. Anyway, we are, guess what we're going to see in the cinema? Guess, three guesses. Whose idea was it, by the way? Whose choice was it, by the way? Who said, yours. should we go and see Barbie? It was yours subconsciously. You're the one that said it. Lewis, literally, look at his little cheeky face, acting as if he doesn't want to see the Barbie movie. He wants to see it. He said so himself last week. Anyway, we have had an afternoon just chilling, we had our delicious brunch. Um, we had such a nice admin day of just tidying up, didn't we? Just clearing things away, stuff that we've not been able to do this week. Anyway, we're back in the car, we're going to a cinema we've never been to tonight. And rumour has it there's a Wagamama's next door. So I am fancying me some rice noodles, some kind of tofu pad thai in and around my mouth. What do you want? You're going to get a curry. No, no, yeah. No, no. Wags, I don't know. Always it used to be chili squid. I might try, try the new vegan chili squid. Vegan chili squid. Potentially. I like the bao buns, the mushroom. You do, yeah. Do you remember when they used to do the bread crummy um, aubergine ones? Yeah, do they not do them anymore? No, they're mushroom ones now, and I'm no, not the biggest they're... mushroom fan. So yeah, we're gonna go to Wagamama's, and then we're seeing the Barbie movie, and I am so excited. Like, this has been the most hyped movie of this year, other than Oppenheimer, which I actually didn't know anything about until last week. Um, but it's been such a hype movie. Every time someone wears pink, I think, <gasps> Is that branding for the Barbie movie? No, it's just pink. But I've dressed up in my pink casual wear comfies. We're going to an everyman cinema, which if you haven't been to before, oh my God, it's changed the game for us, hasn't it? It's such a lovely experience. Like they've got sofa chairs. You can order burgers to your little sofa area. You can order nibbles, they milkshakes. milkshakes. They've, they've got, got great milkshakes. Haven't they? Yeah. They've got amazing vegan options. Um, so we're gonna Pedron. get Pedron peppers. We usually, I'll be honest, we usually do get a burger. Um, the vegan burgers are really, really good from the everyman. But we thought we'd mix it up, get a cheeky wagon. Um, so yeah, we will take you with us to dinner. Now and that then... I'm thinking about it, I'm like, I could do both. What do you mean? Why is it in a burger? I don't know. Let's see how I feel. Wow. I want to get popcorn because everyone I've seen going to the cinema, their popcorn comes in a Barbie popcorn box. I want it. We can do with it. Frame it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good chat. Okay. <laughs> Barbie debrief. Be brief. Be, we will be brief. Yeah. I'll be honest. I wanted to love it with my entire heart and soul. And there were moments, wasn't there? There was pockets of laughter. There was pockets of tears. There was pockets of joy. Mm -hmm. It's quite a sad film and I understand why because it speaks on some very in-depth themes and there's lots of conversations that need to be had within the patriarchy and society. Definitely I just didn't love it. I just didn't love it. The casting of Margot Robbie was chef kiss. She is Barbie, she is beautiful. She is stereotypical Barbie through and through. I thought she was amazing. Why am I acting like I'm a film reviewer? Just keep going. I thought she was amazing. I didn't love Ryan Reynolds. It, was, it wasn't Ryan Reynolds, it was, was it? Ryan, Reynolds, Ryan no. Gosling as the Ken. He was funny. There were moments of humor in there, wasn't there? It was just try hard. It was just, it was just like silly funny. Mm -hmm. I like like hardcore belly laughs and it was more of a <laughs> And I love Will Ferrell. 
Oh my god, he was amazing. Do you but, know what? He was really good. But I still think it was a bit try hard to get in there. Yeah, but all of his stuff is try hard funny, but that's why it's funny because it's Will Ferrell yeah, funny. But... I thought he was good in it. Also, the entire cast of Sex Education was in it, which I found confusing. It was confusing. It was absolutely not what I was expecting. The marketing exceeds the movie, mm. I will be honest. The hype they created was unbelievable. Unbelievable. Everyone hype. was wearing pink. Everyone in the cinema was wearing pink. Even the mm. staff were wearing pink. The only person that wasn't wearing pink was Lewis. Mm. I think some of the topics they spoke about were great. And there was one particular scene, if you're watching it, where a woman speaks about what it's like to be a woman. And it was really, really, really powerful. But the ending was a bit naff. And I'm, it was just a little bit naff, I'll be honest. So we're going to sleep now. Because tomorrow morning, we're up early to be Pilates princesses, aren't we? We will see you in the morning. Good morning! We are up at the crack of dawn on a Sunday because we are going to be Pilates princesses, aren't we, Lewis? Sorry, yeah. Was that a yawn? Yeah, it was. <laughs> I didn't get him up against his will. He is extremely excited about this class. I'm terrified. Why? <laughs> no, I'm not terrified. Um, it's we... going to be advanced though, isn't it? I'm not advanced at, Pil at Pilates. We did book an advanced class, I'm not going to lie. And why did we do that, Lewis? Your fault. Because I like watching you squirm. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, this boy is talented at many, many things. Pilates is not one of them. We don't know that yet. You've done one class before, and I have hope that you're probably still going to walk straight in and be advanced. Nah, I don't. <laughs> we are going to head to get a coffee now. Nice little frothy coffee, sit and chill for an hour, and then go and watch Lewis squirm in an advanced reformer Pilates class. Can't wait! <laughs> You feel like a queen. We love to see it. Queens don't quit. Um, we went today and it was different to what I've done in the last couple of weeks. And there was a jump board at the end of the reformer. And we, we started. She was like, yep, yeah, we're going to start with some jumps. And I kind of looked at Lou and I was like, oh my God, no word of a lie. We were jumping for probably about, what, 10 minutes? Sometimes with our feet turned in, sometimes with our feet turned out, sometimes single leg. I felt like my legs had been sliced open and acid had been poured inside. Like it, they were on fire sorry. in the best way. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Um, and it was amazing. It was such a good class. The instructor's called Rosie and she's just so, she's just so great, isn't she? She's like, yeah, this, we am going to do this. And she's got loads of like sense of humour and personality and it just makes it really enjoyable. So we sat... It moved quickly. It did, didn't it? Yeah. It goes, because I remember the first time I went, she was like, yeah, for the next 55 minutes. And I was thinking, Christ, 55 minutes is going to be chaos. Uh, yeah, why not? Yeah. Um, but now we're going to come back, make ourselves a big bowl of yummy porridge. Our favourite is like cacao porridge with lots of fresh berries and almond butter. So we're going to make that. Then we're actually going to, I'm going to shower, wash my hair because we're getting ready because Lewis's mum and his stepdad are coming to stay with us tonight. We're going to have a nice big roast. My mum and dad are going to be here. We're going to make a gluten-free banana bread because Lou's mum's gluten-free. It's going to be vegan chocolate chip. I forgot to get chocolate chips. Do you think we have any? We've got the uh, lint chocolate that we can break up. Nice. Um, we're going to make a plant-based gluten-free chocolate chip banana bread, which actually tastes nice, I promise. And then we're going to make a gluten-free plant-based banoffee pie as well. How good does that sound? It's quite heavy on the bananas, but we do have some bananas that are crying out to be made into banana bread. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna have some breakfast, get ready for the day, and then have an afternoon of cooking and prepping and baking. <laughs> Hello, so I've not checked in at all today. Lewis's mum and step. 
<laughs> Lewis's mum and stepdad came over and we had the most banging roast dinner, didn't we? I made a banoffee pie, I made a banana... <laughs> and then we just chilled, didn't we? And it's just been a proper foodie day. Can we talk about banoffee pie? Because on a scale of 1 to 10, how good was that? It was a 9.5. What was wrong with that? You forgot the dark chocolate shavings. No, there was dark chocolate shavings on there. Are you joking? What is it? I've got video evidence from about 30 seconds before this clip. I didn't taste them. Please, can you re-rate the banoffee pie? Um, 9.5, so I didn't take them. I need a bit more. Are you joking? It there was, was a, loads. It Look. Was, okay, it was a 9.6. What? I needed more. Look. That's nowhere There's... near enough. Are that, you joking? No. That's a substantial amount of shavings. If you, if you can see cream, it's not enough. No, because then it's supposed to be a garnish. It's supposed to be like a little sprinkle sprinkle, not a full on like, layer. Well. I'm upset. I mean, a 9.6 is not bad. <sighs> it's not perfection. <laughs> <laughs> How was the banana bread? Gluten free. It was gluten free. Do you know what? I'm actually an idiot. So I was so excited to make Karen, Lewis's mum, gluten free goodies. I put Biscoff in the banana bread. But I wouldn't have thought that Biscoff had uh, gluten in it. Well, apparently it does. So I made gluten free banana bread that wasn't even gluten free, so we sacrificed our own joy. And she couldn't even eat it. Anyway, it's been a lovely day. The camera's about to die any second. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I hope you are having a great week so far. And we'll be back next week with another. Will we? We might. <laughs> At Gosh, the moment. What are you going to film next week, Steph? I don't know. I kind of upload as and when I can. So it's not very consistent. Okay. Anyway, love you all very much. We're going to and Portugal we'll soon. No, we're not. No, we're not. We're going to Mallorca soon. Are you going to vlog that? <laughs> maybe. Maybe. See you okay. soon, Mallorca. See you soon, maybe. Love you lots. Bye-bye.